In India, we have long celebrated larger than life personas, rejoiced in their victories, prayed for them in their challenging moments, and gotten inspired by their lives. Celebrities, on screen, on the field, or on stage, come to signify for their fans certain innate human qualities. Celebrities lend a unique boost to brand narratives when their personas are harnessed through endorsements. No wonder then celebs have remained the darlings of brands in India. You love it when Shah Rukh Khan unveils the car with his arms spread. You pause turning the pages of a magazine to see Deepika Padukone flaunting luxury brand. Or trust Sachin Tendulkar when he advocates hand washing on behalf of a personal care brand. But what happens when these celebrities begin their own brands? Indian celebrities, like their Western counterparts, are increasingly branching out into entrepreneurship, launching their own brands across categories. Actor Salman Khan launched the fashion brand Being Human Clothing in 2012 to further his humanitarian works. Priyanka Chopra was in the news earlier this year after her company, Anomaly Hair Care, became the second wealthiest celebrity beauty brand of 2023. Interestingly, most Indian celebrities don't lend their name to the brands they own. While in the West, Kylie Jenner named her beauty line Kylie Cosmetics and Victoria Beckham calls her ready-to-wear luxury fashion simply Victoria Beckham. One finds Indian celebrities moving away from this trend. Indian celebrity-owned brand names often make subtler references to certain essences or qualities represented by their owners. Thus, you have Virat Kohli's 1-8, which refers to the cricketer's jersey number, or Tiger Shroff's Prowl, a metonymic reference to his name. Given that celebrity names are brands in themselves and their consumer brands are rooted in their own brand value, why not highlight it in the masthead? Here's what veteran brand coach Ambi Parmeshwaran believes. In India, Anything can go legal. And when you go legal, the you know, law takes its own course in India. So maybe they are worried about a lot of that thing happening also. So, which is why probably they're not doing it uh, yet. Maybe it'll take some time for them to gain confidence to start, you know, giving their full name. Currently, they give an abbreviation of the name or they say endorsed by so-and-so, etc. But there is also a lot of backlash against you know, unlike in the US, in India, I think our celebrities are used across too many products and too many categories, right? So there could also be a worry that if I launch my own brand of, let's say, lipstick or, or shampoo, my source of income, which is for, you know, endorsing a scooter, endorsing a tire, endorsing a TV, endorsing a mobile phone, all that income may dry up. You know, there could be that fear. Celebrities also prioritize maintaining a distinction between their personal lives and business ventures. Using names as brands might blur this line. How do the two brands, the celebrity and the celebrity products, support each other's brand narratives? When a celebrity puts his, her or their name on a brand masthead, it means this is a forever relationship. When you don't put it on the masthead, when you hide your relationship, it means it's only a business and I'll run it as a business. Celebrity-owned brands enjoy the advantage of attracting social conversations. But that strong social presence doesn't always translate into positive brand sentiment or brand longevity. A recent survey by British market research firm YouGov shows that 45% of its respondents do not trust celebrities with any beauty brand endorsements. The biggest reasons for a sour experience were the high price of the products, their poor quality and misleading information. Celebrity-owned brands also enjoy explosive attention at the time of launch. This excitement tends to taper down over a period of time. What then are the critical challenges for celebrity-owned brands in creating and sustaining their own identities? There is an issue, which is if I'm a celebrity, I'm endorsing 20 different products with 20 different brand names. And I today, I tomorrow launch my own brand of, let's say, soft drink or my own brand of uh, uh, cosmetics. Now, any other product which is using me 
will be a little worried. Like, you know, uh, will, will am I promoting that person? Am I promoting her products? And therefore, how is it going to affect? So there is a there is a flip side to it, which is why I think celebrities are also being very careful. Because maybe someone has advised them that if you use your name, let's say launch a range of cosmetics, tomorrow uh, you will not get endorsement deal for uh, shampoo, for soap, for hair oil, for toothpaste, you know, for jewelry, for mobile phone, for shoe, for, you know, cola, for fruit juice, all that will go away. Now, that is a big loss. The divergence in branding strategies between Indian celebrities and their Western counterparts reflects a complex interplay of narratives. The choice of subtler brand names by celebrities can be rooted in factors like possible legal concerns, a separation between identity and business, or possible impact on other brand endorsements. Experts emphasize that even for celebrity-owned brands to thrive, it is imperative that they develop their own unique identity over a period of time. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard